Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization V. I am the game mechanic, and this is my first real Let's Play. Uh, so, pretty excited to bring it to you all for a couple reasons. A, uh, first Let's Play, so that's awesome. And uh, B, love this game. Uh, the reason I got into it was because of other YouTubers making awesome videos. Uh, specifically, big shout out to Quill18. Um, he's an awesome YouTuber, Let's Player, and uh, definitely check out his stuff if you haven't seen it. Um, also head over to TowerDive.com, that's his website, and there's a pretty cool community over there, hanging out and talking about stuff. Um, so, Civilization V, uh, love this game, excited to play it, um, I've beaten it many a times, uh, they just did a, a pretty big patch recently, changed some of the policy stuff, and the AI is meh, um, as far as their ability to beat you in combat and stuff, but um, still love the game. I think I think they'll perfect it here soon, like they did with Civ 4, which I never played, but uh, other people talk about it all the time. So um, I think I'm gonna go with Rome. Uh, Rome has a couple awesome military units um, early on here, Ballista and Legion, um, and I'm gonna go militaristic vid uh, victory. So those those should help early early game. Um, this passive is okay, uh, extra production towards buildings that exist in the capital. Um, which is good. Production is awesome. Continents sounds good to me. Uh, so I'm going to go small map size here. Uh, I don't really feel like taking over any more than six other uh, civilizations. So I'm just going to go small. Um, and then I think I'm just going to do Emperor. I, I normally play it on Immortal. I, I haven't yet beat it on Deity. Um, it just, I don't know, sounds like not fun to me so I think we're just gonna go Emperor um, so it'll be challenging but but definitely doable um, of course there's advanced setup I'm not really gonna mess with this I don't care who I play against um, everything else as far as default is fine so uh, yeah let's get it started I will turn up the volume hopefully you all will be able to hear the uh, intro video so I will shut up Blessings of the gods be upon you, Caesar Augustus, Emperor of Rome, and all her holdings. Your empire was the greatest and longest lived of all in Western civilization, and your people single handedly have shaped its culture, law, art, and warfare like none other before or since. Through years of glorious conquest, Rome came to dominate all the lands of the Mediterranean, from Spain in the west to Syria in the east and her dominion would eventually expand to cover much of England and northern Germany. Roman art and architecture still awe and inspire the world, and she remains the envy of all lesser civilizations who have followed. Almighty oh, Emperor, your people turn to you to once more reclaim the glory of Rome. Will you see to it that your empire rises again, bringing peace and order to all? Will you make Rome once again center of the world? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? All right. So Caesar, Rome, Civ Five. Let's do it. Um. Okay. Well. Uh. Starting location-wise, it's okay. I mean, we've got lots of nice resources. Uh. No river, which is a bummer, because river um, improves your your yield, your gold on tiles and stuff. I will turn off yield icons there. Um. So that's a bummer, um, but we're at, we are on a coast, and so that is a good thing. We've got whales and silver and deer and cattle, fish. So lots and lots. Um, actually, a granary will probably be pretty effective here because it'll help those two tiles. Um, <coughs> gonna leave the grid on. Gonna leave the, um, the icon, the whatever uh, resource icons on. Um, and yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and found Rome here. Um, we've got a warrior, of course. We'll choose production. I'm gonna get another warrior. I scouts are great, um, but I, I like to have the extra military in the beginning to take over uh, barbarians and stuff because it is on a hard er difficulty, so it's it's not insane, but um, I, the warrior will help. So research wise, um, hmm. Mining obviously will help silver, but we don't need it right now. Um, I think I'm going to get animal husbandry to find out where some horses are. Um, a, 
horsemen over here on the tree tend to be really uh, effective early game. <sighs> but I don't even know if I'm going to go that route. Is there any reason for pottery? Yeah, we're going to need those at some point. Um, and that's sailing to improve those tiles up here. Um, hmm. Pasture, we do have sheep. Yeah, let's let's get animal husbandry, and we'll we'll just we'll get that and go from there. Um, and then the warrior will need to explore. We'll head up here. Oop, there's some ruins, little treasure boxes. Um, some more icons up there. That's good. And yeah, all right, next turn. way it's gonna take me two turns I'm gonna go to the deer okay so we're on a thin continent that's fine next turn I do hope um, let's get this and a map and maps are lame it's like the worst treasure box to get oh well um I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I hope that I'm on a continent with someone so that it's actually exciting and military makes sense, blah, blah, blah. There's a city-state over there. So we'll go say hello. Extra 30 gold. They have whales. That's cool. Probably seemingly took the wrong route. Probably should have gone west, but that's okay. Silver up there. Hopefully having the silver makes up like the extra money from that will make up for not having a river to begin with. And Elizabeth already, which means she got all the treasure boxes from that way, which is lame. Oh well. Okay, got animal husbandry, and I don't see Oh, there's some horses. They'll probably get to that pretty quick, but that would actually right there would be a great spot for our second city pretty quick here. Um, Alright, I'll bust out mining now so I can improve that silver eventually. Well, at least we have England to take over early on. That's good. Man, no, no treasure boxes early on. That's a bummer. Um, I'll go ahead and get a monument now. Extra culture is good. Extra border expansion is good. There's a river. Um, I guess I'm going to go Lots of good spots for cities early on, so that's awesome. Ooh, another city state. So there, actually, right, right, right where my guys are, that would be another good spot for a city early on. Rome has grown. Huzzah. Oh, and Barb Barbarians over there. There's Copenhagen. Apparently England's already been there. Oop, and Brussels. Hello, Brussels. Hey, we are the first to meet Brussels. What's up? What's up, Brussels? We'll invite them to our parties and stuff. It'll be fun. Uh, they're getting attacked by barbarians. That doesn't really concern me at this point. Um, I'm going to go there for the extra vision from being on a hill. Uh, okay. So we've got mining now, and... Honestly, since we're going straight military, I think I'm going to go right and try to get iron early on because iron is really going to um, determine our success, <laughs> particularly early on. Um, all the units that we are going to need take iron, and if we don't have any, we might need to rethink what type of uh, victory we're going for here little desert over there. So we've got cotton and silk, a couple more luxury resources we can take advantage of, so that's good. Um, can I beat them? Yeah. Do I want to? Yeah, might as well. Take that, you barbarian brutes. Oh, I didn't even kill them. 
Now we're gonna get trespassing. Lame. All right, so we're done with our monument. We're up to three culture per turn. That's good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get a worker because we have lots and lots of tiles to improve. I'm gonna find out where England is to figure out where we're competing on space. Here, there she is. All right. Well, oh, and Napoleon. It's like a classic battle here in the uh, in Europe. Obviously, we're not in Europe. Um, all right. Well, I think I'm gonna point my first city maybe there on the river. I'd love to steal this gold from Brussels. They went after horses first. Um, next turn we get our policy. Hmm. Probably not gonna happen because that would be sweet. Actually, right there where the barbarians are would be a sweet spot for a city. But that probably won't be an option. Alright, well... No horses by us to begin with either. And we just lost our warriors, didn't we? <laughs> Off to a smoking start. Alright, well we get our policy. I'm going Liberty. I want the um, collective rule for the free settler and citizenship for the free worker. Um, we're going to be expansive, uh, just in general, so that's going to make the most sense. And now that I'm down to one, that's all mountains. <sighs> Shit, yeah. There might be okay spot for city two, because I'll be next to the mountain. Sometimes, like the observatory you want to build. And that one you have to be next to a mountain for. Um, all this should be pretty much our space. Man, they're going to get those horses. Well, not much I can do about it. Copenhagen's being invaded. I need to bring this guy back soon, but I want to explore just a little bit more. We're very, very vulnerable. We really didn't get any treasure boxes. That's a bummer. Ooh, pearls. Pearls, huh? Most of my people are very unhappy. I know, I'm sorry, people. I'm a sh shoddy ruler. Who is England protecting? Brussels? Yeah, that makes sense. They're close. So get the horses. I'm not overly thrilled with this starting spot, but oh well. Not much I can do about it and take over other sieves. Alright, I'm just going to send you up here to deal with the barbarians. Oh, and they just got the gold, which means they just got the horses. Oh, so lame. So very lame. Yep. They're under attack too. <coughs> it's fine. Silver, our policy. I guess we get our free settler now. Yeah, settler time. Choose production. What do we want to build next? Um, actually I'm gonna go ahead and, and build. Lost that warrior. Lame. I can get a spearman, and then I'll get another settler. Um, 